Corey Blazer out to break up this meeting. That's why I said when White was carrying the bat with him, he had his head down. He didn't want to look at first base. If he'd been rung up, I don't think he would have argued. And Rick Kranitz with a parting shot or two. And he just got thrown out. You can't argue balls and strikes. That's grounds for automatic ejection. And you could read Cranny's lips. He said he did not argue that. And he is getting his money's worth here. I'm ride these guys. Still kind of down at this time of year. The other way, over the head of the right fielder. Azokar has to play it off the wall, and Roberto Perez off the Clemente wall brings home the Pirates' first run. It's three to one. Really good at bat right here for Roberto Perez. Getting a heavy dose of sliders and breaking balls down below the zone. This is just a little cutter looks like that just catches too much of the plate and instead of trying to pull it, stays inside and shoots it off the Clemente wall and got ourselves a 3-1 game. We've got a big time argument from Bob Belvin. Trying to think of what this might be. What did we miss? <laughs> Talking now to the crew chief, Mark Wegner, but it looked as though his beef was with the home plate umpire, Jeremy Rehack. I didn't hear anybody call time or anything along those lines, did you? No. Nope. 29 innings without a home run to begin the year before Pete took him the other way. Dom did not think that was a strike. Wait, did he call that a strike? I thought he did. called that a ball. No, nope, called a strike three. Wow. I, I don't blame Dom. That's he's having a tough time back there. That ball wasn't even really very close. Meanwhile, Max Scherzer doing some barking at the home plate umpire. Sure, he doesn't have to pitch in this series. He can bark all he wants. <laughs> I don't think he's. I don't think he cares. He's, no. He's intense. Protected his teammates. And we just found out that Max Scherzer was ejected. That's why he was as angry as he was and stalked off the way he did. So trying to protect his teammates. Jeremy Riggs a little bit in question and Scherzer got angry, got ejected. To the plate. That's a rocket. That's foul. Wow, they call it foul. Chisholm thinks it's fair. And and runs to the mark and now is begging the first base umpire, Ryan Wills who had to get out of the way then make the call. And now they're calling time. I don't know that that's reviewable because that's on the infield. I think it has to be by the well maybe it was by the first baseman. But this is kind of in that gray area on replay. The umpires are going to get together. Wills was emphatic with the call. There's a the chance that maybe he, he made, the, he pointed in the wrong direction, that he thought it was yeah. fair. Now Walker's back. Well, he's, it looked like he started to point fair and then he pointed foul. I think that's what Chiz was. Here you see him. You'll see his right arm go up. Oh wow. So the ruling was fair. The signal was incorrect. And so two bases for everybody. And Tori Lavello doesn't like this. Well, I've never seen that before. A huge call and Tor Lavello has tossed his cap. 
They're giving them a chance because they know that this is a tough play in the game, but I'd be surprised if Tory stays in this game. He wanted pitches. He didn't get him. He's kicking at the mound. He's doing the whole thing. Well, as we were going off the air and showing you the replay of the birdie home run, Madison Bumgarner got tossed. Let's give you some of the stuff here. Now, he didn't like this pitch to Garrett Cooper. Yeah, he, look, he he starts to walk off the mound. He thinks he got the call third strike. He didn't get the call. It was off the plate. Now he yeah. comes off the mound, and the umpire probably not good timing to check. <laughs> at that particular time right. which umpires do and they got into it and he got tossed. Yeah they, they have to check the pitchers after the innings. He's furious. And this was his first warm up pitch before the first inning. It just just you know just just ornery right. I mean that's kind of his thing and that's one of the reasons why we love him. But you know then he didn't get that call later in the inning. He says whatever he says he's not happy. Then he finally gets the inning over. He got to check his hand. Can't read lips from here and probably don't want to even if we could. But uh, he ends up getting thrown out. And he had to be restrained by what three or four yeah. Diamondbacks oh, personnel. Yeah. Dan Bellino threw him out right there. That was that. So one inning of work. And then that's where he really started to. Lose it to get tossed that quickly in this early in the game. He must have used the magic word to Bellino because it didn't take long for Dan Bellino to throw him out. And that one just clips the outside corner. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the eighth inning. Nobody on. Crowd of 29,057. Getting loud, and here comes Aaron Boone. He didn't like that call. Well, he must have been thrown out already because they would not allow him to be barking that much. Boone is getting his money's worth. And Ron Culpa came over to break it up. That is a fired up Aaron Boone. Check swing. Ball one on Colin Moran. And somebody in the Pirates dugout got tossed. I'm not sure if it was Shelton, but Shelton bolted out of there. Will Little has ejected someone. I don't know if it's Don Kelly. Might have been. Here comes Don Kelly. Uh, Shelton wants him to stay back and now Donnie Kelly probably the one ejected and uh, now Shelton talking to the crew chief Greg Gibson. We've heard some chirping all day about the strike zone and that, that one most likely on the check swing in the appeal. But I, I'm confused as to. Yeah, I think Shelton's want to know, like, wait, who, who yeah, did you who hear? Who are you ejecting, and how did you know that? But it was that particular guy, whoever it was. Is it Newman? Well, of course, Newman's not even on the active roster. Let's see. He, Kevin Shelton points to someone and says, "You're the, you're it. You're the guy he tossed." Maybe Andrew Knapp, which is interesting. The backup catcher, and there are only two catchers on the roster, and he's going to catch game two. But Will Little apparently has tossed Andrew Knapp. And it didn't matter there. He's going to strike him out again with a fastball. He's gotten him two times. Story's going to argue that. Yeah, ball, high strike. He thinks that ball's upstairs. Try to lay off a high fastball, and then they bring you up on a high fastball. Borderline pitch. Might have been there, but watch how he catches this thing. He pulls it down a little bit. When you're going bad, you don't get the call. 
Because you know he's trying to lay off that high fastball and can't get there anyway. Well, somebody has been thrown out. It may very well be Story. We'll check. But home plate umpire Carlos Torres just tossed somebody out of the game. But Alex Cora's out there. We'll see who got it. Oh, you don't see Alex get animated too much. You just don't. He's trying to stick up for his player is what he's trying to do. Put his hand on his hips and said that's twice. And then swings over the top of that changeup. One away in the eighth inning. And Garrett Cooper just got run. Garrett Cooper turned around, said something to the home plate umpire, DJ Rayburn. And then Rayburn said, uh, hit the showers. Yeah, he said the magic word. And DJ, of course, is now going to look in the dugout, make sure that he's gone. But whatever it was, was enough. Looks back. And that's that changeup that he struck out on after the two pitches. 2-2 two, two on its way. Strike three call. AJ just got tossed. AJ's trying to stay in between Baez and home plate umpire Nick Marlin. Well, it's just a manager sticking up for his players for sure. AJ has to get in there. There's unfortunately been a couple times where Tigers feel like they had strikes that weren't called for our pitchers. And a couple close pitches there. I'm not sure that was a ball, but frustration is what's coming out here. And drilled is Donaldson. And he's getting escorted down the first baseline with Barrett. Now, you never know if that is on purpose. The Yankees think it is. And, and Paul, we've seen that throughout the history of baseball. Somebody hits a home run, the next guy gets plumped. There's a two seam fastball it just took up, up and in. What do you think, Cam? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think they're trying to hit him. But what I love the most about this is from the jump, the whole entire dugout up. You know, letting Yimmy Garcia know that they don't appreciate that and they've got their teammates back. The chemistry, the character in that clubhouse. Wow, they threw him out of the game. Not even a warning, they threw him out of the game. And I'm sure Montoya is not going to like this at all. Now he gets thrown out. It looks like a few people have been tossed out of this game very, very quickly. Well, the umpires were meeting, and you figured they'd give a warning, but they threw him out of the game. And Garcia is fired up, being held back by three or four Blue Jays. Now Guerrero gets in there, and he'll escort him to the dugout. You know, tempers and energy is gonna, are going to be high every time these two teams face off, and you see it from the Yankees' dugout. Not happy at all about that hit by pitch, and, and Again, the Blue Jays dug out as well, not happy by the, the call from the umpire ejecting Yemi Garcia for that. There's no reason that he felt like he should have been thrown out of this game. It's a challenge. Wow. All right. Yeah, Bo gets buzzed. And now the Blue Jay dugout is angry again. John Schneider's yelling. Charlie Montoyo's yelling. Lance Barrett just threw somebody else out. Charlie's gone. Better get another your money's worth right here explanation. Curveball hits sharply on one hop diving stops Segura scrambles to his knee throws a one hopper and the ball is kicked out of the glove of Hoskins and a run will score. And Reese is running back toward the bag. 
he's asking them to take a look at it. I don't know how the ball got knocked out of his glove if it was kicked out. Because I do think he caught it on the he scoop. He did. And Joe's going to come out. Yeah, he's out there. Yeah, he's out. And he had it long enough. Yes, he did. The matter of did his foot stay on the bag? Yes. Yes. It's not reviewable because of the timing. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. When he said it's not reviewable. Because it is reviewable on a play like that. Now Joe's been thrown out of the ball game. It's a legitimate beef. It's definitely legitimate beef. I think Bill Miller did a little instigation there. He sure did. Check swing. They say that it goes. And Turin spikes his bat. Oh, he just threw him out of the ball game. Now, yep, here comes Scott. I'm not sure why it felt the need to throw him out of the ball game for that. I mean, he can find him for throwing his equipment, but. Would you agree, Dan? Yeah, I, I find that strange. I mean, he, threw, he just his slammed his bat yeah. down when, when they when they saw that he said that he on the swing out of frustration. And you can get fined for that, but to throw him out of the ball game, I think for the home plate umpire, especially to throw him out of the ball game when he wasn't the one that made the call on the check swing. Right, Brian Knight, the first base umpire, yeah. made the call. And he he didn't have any problem with it. I don't think. No. See the replay. He just. And his back is to Doug Eddings. It looked almost as if he was going to hit the ground and it just came out of his hand. Wow. Wow, man. Yeah, that's surprising. Pitch that was not a strike. Falls he's been, down. He's been thrown out of the game. Plowecki livid over the call. Here comes Cora. That was ball four. And there goes Cora. He's been tossed as well. Well, that was a horrible call from an umpire who's actually had a good night until now, but he cost the Red Sox a run. Out of nowhere, he calls strike three. He hasn't made a call like that all night. More crucial bases loaded 3 2. Plowecki knew it was a ball. You're, that's why you never see something like this happen. I think Cora just said, You're better than that. Yes. That's exactly what he should be doing right now. Wow. That Out is a three. huge call. I mean, it's a great take by Plowecki. Start with that. You have to be willing with this guy to take a ball. And he did. I mean, he saw it so well, the breaking ball, that ball, a little sweeper. Balls down out of the zone. Deep to the right field corner. Off the wall. A late start by the runner, and he will score. Now, the runner at first has fallen down, and I think he ran into Miranda. Yeah, he ran into him hard, too. And so the runner will be awarded second base. A run will score. But Clement got a late start. Guaranteed the next base. It can be somewhat of a judgment call. And that's what Rocco's coming out to talk about is how can you assume he was going to be safe at second base when the outfielder had the ball. Kepler played that as cleanly as you could off the wall. Yeah. But I don't think you can penalize the guy who hit the ball. The first baseman standing in the path of where he has to run. Usually, you kind of have to get up and continue on to second base. Miranda just walking it back. 
then trying to get out of the way, but it doesn't matter. It looked to me like Jimenez clearly was going, intending to go to second, and you can see the throw. The call had already been made. The throw itself was offline, but Rocco continues to plead his case. Let's see if he continues on and goes to second base and he gets you know, tagged out by a step or two. Then you probably reward him. Uncle Baldelli just been tossed out of the game. A rare ejection for the Twins manager. Most of his anger I think directed at John campaign and maybe it is complicated a little bit with the fact that we only have three umpires and what their rotation is the home plate umpire clearly has to stay at home plate. We saw Tom Payne standing between the mound and second base and he was the one who made the call awarding second base to Jimenez. My home runs. Runner goes throw from Caratini is off the mark and it's a stolen base for Avisail Garcia. And not only am I getting the bullpen you know you you start falling into that one second two seconds. Oh, wait a second now. So Sanchez is fired up. I don't know. Did he think that he got hit by the pitch or was there a swing? Well, it sounds like uh, Bill Welke said that he, he had him on the check swing and then Donnie's saying he didn't even move the bat. So now Donnie's going to go out there. Bottom right side of your screen. Wow. Mm. See, that's the thing. The, the, again, a check swing does not have a book rule definition. It's if you offer at the pitch. That's. It's. It's a very crazy little rule. I mean, is he trying to swing? I would say no, but the bat goes across home plate. And the plate. thing is, too, is that the way that he does his little wiggle, he actually takes his hand off the bat. So you are right in the sense of no, he is not trying to swing because he's getting it off. But then you kind of do see what Bill Welke sees there and says, well, I, th I thought he broke the plane. And there's a definition there, too, where you have to understand, well, he really didn't swing. There was no swing attempt. He takes his hand off the bat. It's just the motion of him doing his little shimmy. Struck him out looking. Nine strikeouts. He's no hitting the Pirates in his seventh major league start. It's still nothing, nothing. Her band meter was called out on strikes. They was asking Alfonso Marquez about that pitch. You can obviously see it. he didn't believe he had struck out. I'm not sure if uh, Josh thought that was down or out or both, but um, eventually Derek Shelton will shoot out of here, and Shelton has been ejected. Sir, sure what set him off? Oh, maybe this was it. Oh, Mark. Okay, that's what it was. He started barking back at. Van Meter did Marquez and uh, Shelton came out to defend his player and then he gets ejected. He didn't want him uh, barking at his player and so my guess is at some point in time as uh, Derek was walking away from home plate and maybe questioned some calls or fairness maybe we 2-2. Two -two. Did he go? No swing, full count. Well, this will be interesting from the low third base angle. Dave Roberts, oh my. Larry Vanover, who had a rough, rough night behind the plate last night. Dave Roberts convinced that he just blew another.
I'm excited to see this replay. Oh yeah, that's a swing. And yeah, that's an ejection. That's why Dave went out and got his money's worth. So instead of one away, a full count. Might try to sneak a fastball in. Three and two to Calhoun. Walked him. Bases are loaded. Joe Madden coming out of the Angels dugout. Joe Madden has been thrown out of the ball game. While we, we were at commercial break, Madden was at the mound. He took some time with Suarez. Buckner, CB Buckner comes out, Mark, to say, hey, time's up. And then Madden had some words with him like, hey, you missed that strike three call. I think on that high fastball 2-2. Two -two. And then Buckner throws him out of the game. Somebody just got thrown out, and it's Aaron Boone. And Rizzo is also coming out, so he's arguing over one of the calls. So either Rizzo or Boone got thrown out. And the fact that Rizzo's out there arguing it was probably him because he'd be thrown out automatically. Manny Gonzalez pointed to the dugout and said, you're gone, and Boone jumped out and then followed by Anthony Rizzo. I think Rizzo's saying, I wasn't saying anything. He's also looking at Manny saying, you know me, Manny, I'm not, I'm not that guy. And, and Rizzo, you know, he isn't a disrespectful player by any means. So to see him run out right there and, and defending himself, I totally understand it. Well, the Yankees have not been thrilled with the strike zone of Manny Gonzalez. It looks like he's getting his stuff and going into the, uh, into the clubhouse. Anyway. And Garrett was just thrown out by second base umpire Ramon de Jesus. Frustrated, and now he's going to get his money's worth. Well, that particular side of the plate, especially when Kyle Hendrick was pitching. Oh, strike three call. Joey thought he had drawn the walk. He was set to head to first, and. Uh, Kevin Cash is coming out. And Choi not happy. Bull Welke called him out on strikes. And I did not see that Choi had been run. I, but Kevin's out there to pick up the argument in any case. Yeah, not real happy at all. And, and G-Man Choi, we've some, seen some of these calls here in the last couple of innings where that uh, looks like Bill Welke maybe at times be opening that strike zone up a little bit. And G-Man thought he opened it up a little too far here. Let's take a look. Well, that's right there, top of the zone. I mean, that looked to be a pretty good pitch there by Baker. So Baker and Patrick. Taking an extra second. This is going to come out. David Ross has been ejected.
see it. And Andy Green's going to get him. Saw Kuno in the game yesterday, really going after the hitters. Oh, and he hits Contreras, who stares him down. And there were tensions late yesterday. Those are two big guys. Now Contreras, after he homered in the fifth, see anything here? Well, he sat there and he enjoyed his work. And I don't know if the look was at Hunter Green or if the look was at the ball in left field stands. And the Cubs dugout is getting hot. And here comes David Ross who got tossed in an emotional tirade last night. And he makes a beeline for Will Little. Now last night he really gave it at first to our home plate umpire Dan Merzel, but later it was the crew chief Chris Conroy that came over and got a true earful. Ross Moore measured here. But I have to think he's questioning is this a spillover of last night? Are there no immediate repercussions? What is the standard that's being set? And for what it's worth, when Patrick Wisdom got drilled, Hunter Strickland said not intentional. Joey Votto was vehemently defiant. Why would he bring the tying run to the plate? Not intentional. But you can tell by the display that David Ross had last night. He thought differently, and I think this tells a further detail to the story. Reaction, but there's always the possibility, you know, that this made somebody upset. Yeah, it's 13-5. That was as demonstrative as we've ever seen Zach Gallen on the mound with an umpire right there. And John Lipka walking out to the mound. Jose Herrera has to get in front of him. And here comes Tori Lavello, and Lavello's been ejected. Tori's saying exactly what he should be saying. You're walking out toward the mound to talk to my pitcher. What do you expect? Herrera had to get in front of Lipka that time, and now Tori has been tossed. There's the crew chief, Jim Reynolds. Obviously heard something and walked out toward the mound at Zach Gallen. I see there's no reason for that from John Lipka. I mean, Zach Gallen may have said something, but he didn't leave the dirt part of the mound. He got the throwback from Herrera, turned his back on home plate, and Lipka was the one who tried to initiate contact. Wow. And that is strike three. Machado goes looking. That is nine strikeouts, 13 in a row for Wainwright. A lot of drama in between innings here in St. Louis after Manny Machado struck out looking he would throw his equipment and then as he was walking back said some stuff to home plate umpire Chris Siegel. Yeah and, uh, it starts here with the toss of the equipment. It really wasn't much of anything the bat he actually threw was a little more offensive than his gear and then said some stuff here and now he's gone. Yeah you can't argue balls and strikes. Um, Clearly, you could clearly see what Manny said to him. He did give him some leeway, and then Bob Melvin came out. And Bob gets ejected, too. So the Padres are without Manny Machado and Bob Melvin for the remainder of the evening. Well, that is a really good pitch. And Julio takes it for strength three. Two gone. If Scott is pointing that way, and our home plate umpire 
We're being told that Julio was ejected. Boy, I did not see. Clearly, something happened. I did not see what it was. As Julio is about the last guy you would think would be ejected. So this is a strikeout looking for Julio. Oh, he draws a line. Mm. Yeah. Well, that can get you into some trouble. Julio got ejected. He thought it was a ball, but he draws that line right there and he gets tossed oh. immediately. The, the most veteran person will get thrown out in that situation. 